Okay, today we're making mobiles. Your challenge is collect some things, get some string, fill some holes, make a mobile. Check out my mobile I made. It's really easy and fun. All you gotta do is, is find interesting things. I found things from the sea, check it. Yeah, I got a few shells, got old, old clam shell, got loads of driftwood. That's a seed from this wonderful tree that's behind me. That's one of the seed pods. I painted it a little bit. Now you're going to use a drill probably uh, or uh, a brindle to make the hole. So please have a parent present for that and make sure you ask permission. Yeah, Don't drill holes in anything that isn't. And I love the ones, I love the mobiles that are made from recycled material, bottle tops, old bottles, colorful plastics. They're all put together to make a mobile. And you know what, these things, when the wind hits them, they start spinning around and it's just magical. It gives that breezy feeling like you're at the beach. All right, guys, there's your challenge for today. Go get it. Try and make a mobile, make it as long as possible. It's not as easy as it looks. You've got to really think, yeah? Think about size of each wire. Think about the weight so it's not lopsided. There's so many challenges in this. But take on the challenge. Don't walk away now and go do something else. You go and do this challenge right now. That's why I put these videos up here, is to challenge you to make something and then share it with me. Mr. B's makerspace, gmail.com. Good, I'm gonna show you some examples I've seen around that have inspired me. Check it. So the hanging thing is collecting. We're going along the shoreline here at Diani, just collecting anything we can find with a hole in it or anything that's cool. What have you got, Ati? Now to put these together, you really need to find different kinds. I got different seed pods because I'm lucky there's seeds everywhere. But you can use just about anything. I mean, we use beach stuff. Um, yeah, use your drill. See, I've collected these ones. Just put a tiny little hole in it. Daddy. See this piece of wood? It's got holes in it. I've even made like a dream catcher. Look at that. Pretty difficult to make actually, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you love that stuff, then go for it. I tried to make a tree in my dream catcher. You got a seed pod? What have you got? No, Can we drill it? No! Can we hang it up? No! Oh, okay, fine. Fair enough. Addy, where's your seed pod? Can we drill a hole in your seed pod? Do you know how to use a drill? Now we've got to find a nice piece of old wood or something so when we drill through it the drill doesn't hit like the path or a table or you can just smash it. That's great. Um, yeah, also into soil is not so good. it get your drill all dirty. Drills, handheld drills like this one are quite heavy at the bottom so maybe, you know, you've probably got to have an adult holding the drill and you press the button. It's too heavy for you. Try and press the button, Atty. Yeah. Now, we just say, stop right there. You're not got shoes on, you're not safe right now. Let's be safe. Good, okay, there you go. This is wicked, I love this one with the tree. And I love the old coconut, and I made this seed pod like Atty's, I painted it. I think that's turned out really nicely. Anyway, have a go yourselves, it's well worth it, and it can just sit there in the wind, floating around, Forever. Let me show you a finished example of this one when I've finished it. Oh, that is wicked. Yeah, do that. Oh, look at that. It's coming alive. You're a bit of a, sk a, bit a skilled artist at this. Let's get a close up. Check these things out. They have turned out so well. What are you doing, Bo? Splatter art. So Bo's got this is white on here and we're splattering it. He's a bit of a pro at this, so he's just splattering it. Nice. Now these things flow so nicely. The wind catches them and they're moving around. I'm loving it. I'm loving both of them. One's really natural, the other one I've made. The dream catcher was difficult, but it was worth it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that finger. Eesh. Oh, that's even quite cool. I quite like that. Yeah, and also, <coughs> you might have to, you have to get it as wet as possible. The paint has to be wet. 
Yeah. Like that. Like that. Boom, sh boom town. They fit in with nature. They show the wind and the beach and the sun setting. I mean, art and nature together.